Are you currently learning to code? Are you teaching yourself to code? Are you struggling when you're learning to code? In today's video, I want to share a few of the common mistakes that I had in the past when I was learning to code and how you could avoid those common mistakes. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Vicky May and I am a full-time software engineer living in New York City. And in this channel, you will learn a lot of things about how to start learning how to code, web development, and all things related to tech. So mistake number one is rushing like you're really trying to rush through from one chapter after another especially when you're learning courses on Udemy right and when you're enrolled into that it's really easy to you know go from one section to the next one then to the next one one of my recommendations is really take a step back and really think about how much you really understand the core concept don't just chase chapters after chapters and getting into a tutorial hell and one of the things that I would say is always asking why. Why is this the solution? Really trying to understand the why behind all these problem solving techniques that you were watching from the tutorials and try to recreate those strategies into your code and really trying to implement that method into your project. The second common mistakes that I've seen a lot of beginners stumble across is over analyzing which programming language to learn. In my opinions and what I recommend is focusing on one programming language first and get really understanding the concept behind that, like the coding paradigms. Once you understand one programming language, the next one will be easier for you to understand. But if you're over analyzing which programming languages to learn at the end of the day, you'll get so overwhelmed with so many programming languages and not being able to really grasp the important programming paradigms and concepts that you need to learn. So mistake number three is not having enough time. So what I mean by that is a lot of the students that I've seen, especially when they're trying to teach themselves, they tend to rush through the process and especially not spending enough time every day to keep it consistent. So programming is just like learning a new language so when you learn a new language it's more important to code and speak that language every day versus thinking about i'm going to crank you know six hours of study within one weekend what more is effective is actually setting you know an hour or two hours every day to try to practice code. Coding, it's like a skill that you have to practice every day to get familiar with it. For a lot of self learn programmers they have a full-time job during the day so at the end of the day you are already exhausted from your full-time job so it's really hard to pick up a book and trying to encourage yourself to learn so what i do would recommend is actually do the learning bright and early in the day and try to be more consistent and set up enough time every day to try to commit to that Mistake number four is not having the right setup for it. For instance, if you're learning to code, it's important for you to have all these coding books and all these coding tutorials that is accessible for you and implement those habits into your daily routine. So for instance, if you are used to waking up early in the morning, getting a cup of coffee and you never miss that coffee morning, then it's necessary for you to, you know, set up your coding environments or your coding computers right next to your coffee machine and by doing that you're giving yourself a really regular habit of opening that computer when you are making a cup of coffee so creating less frictions for yourself in your daytime really going to help you to get better at sticking with your consistency Okay, so what is the bottom line here? Well, the bottom line here is that learning on your own isn't easy and I don't think this is something that you can just do in a day or in a month. It's something that requires a lot of consistency, requires a lot of patience, and at the same time, you have to embrace your journey and embrace your process and also trusting your process. What are your mistakes 
that you had and you wish that you would have known earlier and please comment down below and let me know and as well as letting other subscribers to also learn about your mistakes. If you are currently learning how to code and trying to become a web developer, I would highly encourage you to check out this video here, how to become a web developer in 2021. And if you're still not certain about your progress, your process, and you wanted to talk to someone like me, you can definitely check out the link down in below to set up a one-on-one -on -one mentor section with me and we will make sure that you are on the right track. Until next time, I will talk to you soon and happy learning. Bye.